Hey, it's Wookie91 here. Just gonna do a little Tekkit tutorial. Very beginning of industrial craft and build craft. And I guess happy will start off. Alright, so basically there is about nine ores that are added into the Tekkit stuff with industrial craft. There is silver, which looks like that. Nope. I just broke it. Uh, but yeah. Like a darker tint of sin. Get to later. Okay. And also there is copper, which is, is like brownish orange color, which is really common. It's a lot more common than like coal and stuff like that. And then there's tin, which is it's pretty rare. It's like iron, maybe. And oh, like iron, yeah. that will be used in like further stuff like the batteries and stuff that we'll get to later and then these three colorful ones right here are gems that's what they're called but it's emeralds rubies and em er, and sapphires which like tools. are yeah they're tool you can make them into tools but they're they have the properties of diamond but they're a lot less durable than normal diamonds are I believe they're like one third as durable. I believe that's the stat, but I'm not positive. Yeah, I have no idea. But nickelite is like, it's sort of like redstone, but it's like, obviously it's an aqua color. But I really, useless. <laughs> it's pretty useless, except for like blue alloy, but that's pretty advanced stuff. And then we have tungsten, which is, I literally have no use for tungsten except it's really good if you want to condense to make more diamonds but it's pretty rare I'd say it's a little bit rare than the diamond and last is uranium which is probably about the rarity of diamond but it comes in a lot less quantity like you might only find one instead of like a whole vein of it. Yeah, I think you're usually going to find one. I, I don't think I've ever seen more than a vein of one or two. No. But All right. pretty much you can use that to make nuclear reactors and pretty advanced stuff like that. Alright. So, for the basic tools and machines of industrial craft, the first one we have is a tree tap, which is made with five sticks arranged kind of in a weird pattern. It's like a triangle with a little point on the bottom left. Mm -hmm. And that's used on rubber trees to collect rubber, which can then be smelted and used to make copper cables, rubber which trees. is in the next one. Rubber trees look like this little tree right here. Sorry for a little convenience play. Yeah. It's all right. All right. And to make insulated copper cabling, which is used for, like, hooking up machinery and stuff like that. It's basic stuff. But it's made with three uninsulated copper cables, which is just three iron bars, or three bars, just horizontal. Mm -hmm. And it's surrounded by two layers of rubber which is smelted rubber from the tree tap, which will be used in the electronic circuit once we get to that. Mm -hmm. Now, for a machine block, which is used to make almost every machine in the whole ticket thing, you need to take iron and smelt it into iron bars, and then smelt those iron bars into refined iron bars, which will be arranged in a square with an open space in the middle. Yeah, so basically you just double heat the ores, right? Yeah. You just take iron and double smelt it. Now, if you take the, um, if you take four tin, make like boots, and then two redstone in the middle, with a copper cable right on top, it will make a RE battery, 
which will be used to make a generator once we get to it. And it's crafted like that. All right. Just four tin, two redstone, and a copper cable on top. Now, to make a generator, you have to take that RE battery that you just made and that machine block that you made before it and put both of those on top of a furnace and it will give you a generator, which will generate power. But if you don't want like a normal furnace, you can make an iron furnace, which is the exact same recipe as a normal furnace, except you use iron ingots instead. Or if you're really picky about saving iron ingots, I believe you can also craft it like this. We'll save these mining ingots. Yeah. Now, to make most basic machi machines, you will need an electronic circuit, which is used with six of those copper cables that we learned how to make earlier, two redstone on the side, and a refined iron in the very middle. And it will give you an electronic circuit. Now you can use electronic circuits with machine blocks to make various machines. Like the macerator, compressor, and the extractor. The macerator is pretty much used to take any ore and macerate it into a dust that you can then smelt and get twice as much ore from each ore block that you mined. And to make that, it's just three flint, two cobblestone on either side of a machine block in the middle with an electronic right below that electronic circuit. And then a compressor is used when making more advanced things, like advanced alloys and stuff, which we will get to in a later episode. But it's pretty much just six... Or two layers of stone, cooked stone, with a machine block in the middle and an electronic circuit on the bottom. And the last machine is the extractor, which you can use on rubber trees. If you chop down the tree, you can put it into an extractor, and you can get a lot more rubber out of it than just what you got from the little holes. Mm -hmm. To make that, you just need four tree tabs or a machine block and one electronic circuit. That's the basic industrial craft side for it. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'll show you